Well, California boy, uh, born and raised in California, uh, these landscapes are things that I just have known my whole life, and they're kind of under my skin, if you will. And, you know, oak woodlands, I think, anybody who's grown up around oaks, you never lose a love for them. There's a problem with the oaks in California that we're not getting new seedlings that are entering into the oak woodlands and the ecosystems here in California. And that means ultimately we're losing the oaks from California. So Blue Oak Ranch provides, I think, an interesting opportunity to get investigations going as to what are the causes for why the oaks are declining. You can imagine putting some sensors up in some of the mature ones and maybe at ground level. There's a wide range of different sensors that we can put out, much like your cell phone. It's a wireless device. Sensors like cameras that are measuring, you know, the movement of animals both in the day and the night. Sensors that measure temperature and humidity and, and maybe different types of light so we can detect, you know, how the, the microclimate varies. And then sensors that are more biologically focused, so in the trees themselves that measure the water movement that's moving through the tree. One of the things I'm really excited about doing here, and I think many of the other faculty are too, is bringing all kinds of different school groups here, whether those are college students, high school students, or, or kids that are in middle school, out to so they can really appreciate the natural environment and so close to the city where they grow up. Oh, there he is. It's a really important addition to the UC family of reserves, if you will, because it adds something unique that is not found in very many places. Like we said, it's an oak woodland, it's at the urban uh, wildland interface, and it, because it's associated with the UC system, it means that we're going to be able to draw UC faculty, UC students, and even the broader community into actually coming to appreciate what a wonderful resource this is. I'm here by myself uh, most of the time and uh, uh, I feel lucky actually just to be in it all the time. I've been on this ranch for 10 years. I was uh, employed by the former owners for 10 years. We've done a lot to eradicate invasive species. Uh, we built a, about approximately 10 miles of fence to exclude wild pigs and then we got rid of what was still inside the fence. Um, we've pretty much eradicated bullfrogs. We've, pretty, we've definitely eradicated all non-native uh, fish species. And um, we've used a prescribed fire program to try to eradicate some of the non-native grasses. What you hear behind you is the Pacific tree frog. And right now, right at this time of year, it's breeding season. And so what you hear is all the males calling to females. That's the part he expands and makes the noise. Yeah. I'm very happy about UC Berkeley taking over, primarily because uh, there's so much to be studied here. It's such a unique environment and it's very close to uh, an urban center, um, it's, it really is sort of uh, wasted by having just one person on it all the time. It really needs to be looked at by uh, a wide range of people with a wide range of interests. Well, you know, we really envision a true eco-station, a, a biological research station that um, is completely in tune with the ecosystem in the sense that all of our energy systems, all of our water, all of our, our waste management is, is completely involved in, and sustainable without requiring external inputs or producing outputs. And so that, that's uh, never been done at a biological station anywhere in the world. Right behind me is the, uh, is the Lick Observatory, which is on top of Mount Hamilton. And they've agreed to provide us with wireless internet connectivity from the top of the mountain. And from this point, we'll be able to distribute that uh, digital infrastructure across most of this landscape, all 3,000 acres of it. And nowhere in the U.S. has this been done. It's even possible that over time we'll be able to observe new phenomena that have been previously unobservable as a result of having this, this sort of terrestrial telescope on the ground.